YouTube, Giovanni here. Just coming from a job. Heading in back into the office. Nice day in sunny Florida today. Beautiful day. Just finished um, looking at a um, stand-up freezer where it was not cooling. So once I get there, I noticed the compressor was hot and stuff in the freezer was melting out. It's a stand-up freezer. It was melting out and uh, the evaporator fan wasn't moving. So I took the evaporator cover off and saw that it was um, blocked up with ice. And it turns out that the compressor was going defective on the unit. So a customer need a new uh, compressor replacement. Yeah, so just gave them an estimate for that. Um, refrigerator is about 2010, so it's an older model refrigerator. So a customer decided, you know, she's going to go ahead and buy a new one. I figured that, you know, old refrigerator. It was um, old Kenmore, over 10 years old that they have in the garage exposed to the element yeah so that was that now I'm on my way back to the office taking the rest of the day off early trying to catch up on some paperwork um, you know get organized a little bit better I got some parts I got to order some clients I got to schedule it's been a busy day you know this line of business you find yourself sometimes just running non-stop well, things things do get get crazy. Oh yeah, so from my office to to this customer here, it was about 39 minutes, 40 minutes um, to this customer here in Stewart. You know, one of my previous customer, um, you know that. I did a bunch of repair for, and um, you know, now this refrigerator in the garage went out, not working. So I had to come and look at that. Um, I was a little skeptical at first when the customer called me. He was all the way in Stewart, and you know, I running a business and and being in business for a very long time. You know, having different businesses that that you know I I done run and operate and so forth, general construction business and and so forth. I I, I know it, it's very important to kind of keep and have a, a very tight service radius, like a service area. Um, you know, very, very important. Um, you know, you'll find yourself making more money, being more productive that way, and, and better able to, to access and serve your customer. Now, this customer, he was like, a little bit over the line, you know, of my service area. I try to keep my service area about 25 mile radius. Yeah, I know it, it's, it's very tight, you know. I do not like driving, um, I, especially long distance. You know, I do not like driving long distance, especially for a job. Um, like this diagnostic here, it took me about 40 minutes from, you know, where I was there in the office to, to get over here to do the diagnostic you know it's been about 30 minutes to you know um, look over the refrigerator I had to take the evaporator cover off um, take a look at the frost pattern on the evaporator you know I had to check the compressor um, you know you know um, check the controls um, you know do a thorough check on the refrigerator um, that way when I complete the diagnostic you know, it will be a, a complete report with, with, you know, everything that I, uh, all the defects and everything detailed, um, written up there, and, you know, so I can give them a good, accurate estimate. Let's get that done. Here, looking where I'm going, just driving back to the office. Yeah, but it was, a, you know, overall a pretty nice day today. I try to keep today light. You know, had about well, five service call. That way I can try to get back to the office early and um, try to catch up on some stuff. 
Yeah, in this line of business, it's, it's never a dull day. You find yourself busy. Oh my goodness! If, if you let it, if you let yourself, you find yourself busy running all day long, seven days a week. My goodness. Yeah. So back to that time, time management, time I was talking about. So. It took me about 40 minutes to get to the customer, 30 minutes there to complete a diagnostic, write up the paperwork. And now it's about another 35 minutes to, to drive back to the office with, um, it might be a little bit of traffic on the road. You know, so you're looking at about an a hour, hour and a half in drive time, you know, for, for one project. Round trip, of course, 45 minutes there, let's say, you know, 45 minutes back. Hour and a half. No, not bad, you know. But um, I, I try to keep them. <laughs> this was like uh, about a, a 30, 35 miles from, from, you know, from the office. And usually I don't, I don't go over 25 mile radius. But because this was a previous customer, you know, I just run back down there and kind of take care of them. But, you know, if, if, if you're running and, and have a, a large service service area, um, you find yourself um, spending a lot of time on the road. And, you know, just to me, it's like just wasting a lot of money, if you ask me. You know, more time on the road, more warranty on your vehicle, uh, more money and gas, you know. Yeah, so so for me, it's like very key, real important that, you know, keeping, keeping a real tight service radius. Where you don't have to find yourself uh, spending so much time on the road. So much time on the road. Yeah, but normally my jobs from my office to the jobs are anywhere from uh, 10 to, I'll say 10 to 30 minutes. You know, normally most of my service calls, you know, about 10 to 30 minutes. Every now and then for you know, in the special circumstances, if the price is right, I may take a job that's a little bit further, but you know, just try to keep the majority of them within within that 25 mile range. Yeah, you find yourself being much more productive and, and you know, able to get things done and, and still able to have some time off to enjoy the rest of your day, you know, enjoy the day a little bit. Because I tell you, boys, sometimes time do just fly by so fast it does it does sometimes i'll be getting out in the morning and by the time i look it's night time and you know driving back in the office you know just getting back there about 9 10 11 o'clock sometimes depends on what i have to do oh yeah yeah so just want to talk about that that's something I think is, is, is very important in, in business and, and running a business and, and you know especially if you're just starting out um, you know and, and, and have uh, doing this as a side job where you have a full-time job and you try to do this in the evening or you know whatever free time you get in the evening or off work you know <laughs> yeah definitely make it harder if the jobs are far away Absolutely. Yeah, but it's another beautiful day here in Florida. Absolutely. Love the winter down here. All right, you two. Just want to go over that real quick. You know, time management and, you know, service area what I do, what I prefer, what I think is best. Like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next one.